What do these shapes have in common? Yes, they have four sides and four angles, and they're quadrilaterals. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Quadrilaterals. However, when you look at these shapes, they're all slightly different. Quadrilaterals are classified according to their side lengths and angles. If you take a look at this chart, we'll try to make sense of this, and as you move down the chart, the quadrilaterals get a little bit more specific. So let's get started. A trapezium, also an irregular quadrilateral, has no parallel sides. A kite has two pairs of adjacent sides of the same length. As you move down, a little bit more specific is a trapezoid with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Next, a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. Now, a little bit more specific, a rhombus is a parallelogram with congruent sides. A rectangle is a parallelogram with right angles. And then a square is a combination of both. It's a rectangle with four congruent sides. Now, another way you can look at this is using a Venn diagram. You have quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral with no parallel sides would be a kite. A trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. Now you move into the parallelogram, which has two pairs of parallel sides. A parallelogram with all right angles would be a rectangle. Parallelogram with four congruent sides is a rhombus. And then a square is a combination of both of these. You have a rectangle and a rhombus, so a square has all right angles and four congruent sides. So, in summary, you can look at it using this chart, and as you move down the chart, it gets more specific. Or you can use a Venn diagram. I hope that helps in classifying quadrilaterals. If you'd like to know more about quadrilaterals, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.